right, today is Wednesday, and when I checked my computer, I noticed there was a message uh, from eBay saying early delivery alert, and there was a package sitting in my mailbox. So I drove down to the mailbox, yes, it's that long, and I went and grabbed this package, and I saw this weird thing that says, fragile, do not crush. I was like, what is this? Very unusual, um, s'mores bars box here, s'mores bars. But it came all the way from Florida, uh, here to Oregon, the other side of the United States, and I've cut this open. You can see it was a honey graham crackers box. And I like people that reuse packaging um, because that saves on the environment and also it just basically um, gives more money to the seller and a little more wiggle room perhaps. Um, and you know, old bubble mailers that have been, so, but it was very well packed otherwise and some bubble wrap in there. But what we're talking about here is what's in the background here. And this is a 1976 Topps Happy Days um, package uh, with one stick of bubble gum, extra sticker in every pack. I'm not going to save the bubble gum, uh, maybe, um, but I think this said gold or silver name tag. And it was gold, electro plated, silver plated name tag on uh, basically, you can read all that there. Um, main thing is, is that. Um, um, I believe the pack was wrapped a little poorly because this yellow space here is supposed to be farther down this way and Happy Day is supposed to be here. But that doesn't matter to me because that was done in the factory. That's what, how it looks like. The pack is a little on the beat side, but, you know, that's probably how it was when it was new. When you've been stored since 1976, you're probably not going to be in very good condition. This may be the oldest pack I've ever opened. The gum might be intact or it could be broken. I don't know. It doesn't feel broken in here. And the reason I know is this is a Topps pack is because Topps logo is right there. Now, this is where the confusion starts here because supposedly Topps wrapped every Series 1 and Series 2 in the same wrapper. So what box did this come from? I do not know. The seller has, it, I think, another 28 more packs. And the other thing is that um, the only difference that I'm aware of on these packs, maybe some of the advertising on the back here, I don't know, um, is that on the boxes, it'll say new series. And the boxes are exactly the same, but they paste the sticker. And the same thing with Canada, they use a little piece of tape for those. So let's open this up here. I'm going to save the wrapper for my collection. This is really pretty neat, it's kind of historic. I mean, I've seen a few people open Happy Days, but let's just get this open here. And we'll try to do the best thing we can. The sound may not be perfect on this, Oh wow, oh wow, look at what, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see what I'm seeing? Oh my gosh. Wow. This is not the blue series. The blue series is a tad more common. This is the red series. This is series two. I had no clue it was going to be series two. I am absolutely shocked and stunned and really um, happy. I'm absolutely, it's not like winning the lottery, but that's a, a nice surprise. Series 2. Well, let's see what kind of shape the gum is before we get anything. So this is what Happy Days gum looks like from 1976. And you know my rule with gum. Mmm. Mmm. Eat the gum. Mmm. Mmm. So... Without further ado, Fonzie was in the perfect spot because the wax took the brunt of on the front of it, not the back. So I will be able to take a tissue and clean off all the wax off the front of that. You see the wax right there. So that's really cool. Hey, man. Next card here. I, can I have a $5 advance on my 25th birthday? I'll show you what the backs look like here. So this is 19A, that's the A series. And the first one was 54, a little bit of spot right there, but we're not gonna worry about that. Pack Fresh, series two, crazy. A chick is like a motorcycle, you gotta rev her up. Some of these are very outdated sayings here, but there's another Fonzie card. So we got one Richie and Howard, and two Fonzie cards here. Let's put them on top of these here, if they don't fall. This one here, and there's five cards per pack. I think I forgot to mention that, but you see, if you look on the front here, 
It does not tell you how many stickers are, I mean, it does not tell you extra sticker. You're thinking you'll get more than one sticker with one stick of bubble gum. So it's promoting the sticker and the gum, but it doesn't tell you how many cards. There's three. Now we have girls always go for a guy in uniform. There's Richie working at probably Arnold's. How, how, how to look like Fonzie rules. The t-shirt, blah, blah, shirt, roll up your sleeves. And there is that one. We will cover up that one there. Ooh, bring me four burgers, three Cokes, and two waitresses. I have not seen that card before. That is a really well-centered card. That is gradable. That is absolutely insane. That is gradable. This would probably come back in eight because, um, uh, yeah, it just, oh, that is a really insanely well-centered card. I am so glad I bought from this vendor. I should buy more packs. And here is one that's not well-centered, the King of Cool. That is very unusual. Look at that. You got a piece of another sticker there. I have never seen that before. So this pack really has everything. And that's where the gum sat. You see, so that's where the gum has been all these years, touching that card. And that's why the gum tasted like cardboard. It tasted like that paper. But I survived the gum. It's a little off, you know, it's a little kind of sour. Yeah, I would say the gum is sour, pretty much. A little bit on the sour. But you know, if you've ever had candy like Sour Patch Kids, an old stick of gum should not really be a big concern. Um, you know, as that 1981 Coca-Cola, now I've had 1976 gum. This was a historic pack. I'm really happy I bought one of these. So essentially, I was looking on eBay. One was for $5.97 or something like that. And the pack, um, and I looked at it, must have looked at it two or three times. It triggered some sort of response from the seller. The seller offered $5. And $5 and $5 is $10. I didn't want to be one cent over $10. And there I was. $10 for a pack of fun. So I got some really nice examples for Series 2, and guess what? It does not even say Series 2 on the packet. That was a really a bonus. And hope you enjoyed that, and thank you for watching. This is ABC.